In today's video, we'll look at how we can configure a static IP address and a DNS on a Linux Mint machine. We'll uh, start by checking the, the IP that we currently have, which by default should be using DHCP. We can use the terminal or we can go through the menu and then open the network settings. So if we go to the menu and do um, search for network, This should open the network settings for us. And under wired here, I'm using wired connection. You can see we have an IPv4 address, the 172.16.1.102. And we have our default gateways are dot four and our DNS dot four. So DNS is the same as the uh, default gateway, which is our router. The other way to check this is to open the terminal. And then we just need to type in a command here which is the IP address. And this is the same IP right here that we saw on the uh, network settings. In order for us to configure the static IP, we'll use the network settings. We'll go to open this window right here. And right at the bottom right, you see this icon here. This is where we can make changes. So click on that. And then you have your details again for your wired connection, uh, you have security, identity, and then you have IPv4 and IPv6, and then a reset option here. We'll be using IPv4, and right now, as you can see here, it's so it's using DHCP, we wanna use a static, so that's gonna be manual. And then here we'll put in an IP, so we'll go with the 172.16.1.1 say 244 let's just see what subnet we're in okay 172.16.1.102 slash 24 so 244 should be fine uh, the mask is 255 255 255 0 for slash 24 the gateway is going to remain the same Uh, dot four. Now for DNS, you can use a public uh, DNS server. You can Google the different ones that are available. So let's say public DNS servers. Uh, we'll go to that link, the best uh, free and public DNS servers. So there's uh, a few here that are listed. We have Google, the 8.8.8. .8 .8. And then we have others here, Code 9, Cloudflare 1.1.1. So you can pick whichever one you want. I'll go with the 8.8.8.8. Put 8.8.8.8. And uh, once you're satisfied with the changes, here you can add routes, but we don't need that. We just, we are focusing on these sections right here. So click apply. So once you do apply, if you look, there's still no changes. Now, even though we just made the changes here, and we applied the changes, we're still not seeing the changes. So we'll need to do a reboot in order for the device to take the new IP address and the DNS information. Actually, even if you open the terminal and do IP address, still showing the old IP. So let's go ahead and do a reboot. So click on restart. I'll come back once the computer is done rebooting. So it's done with the reboot. I'll go ahead and put in password. Now let's go back to the terminal. Do IP address. So as you can see here, we are showing the new IP, it's, which is uh, 172.16.1.244. And if we open the network settings here, It's also showing the new IP here, which is uh, 172.16.1.244, and the DNS has also changed to 8.8.8, .8 and we should still have internet connectivity. We can ping google.com, which is, ping is working, and let's open a browser. 
let's go to the internet and as you can see they are able to access the internet so that's it for this video that's how you can actually change your ip address to a static ip and also that's how you can change the dns i hope this information has been useful catch you in my next video thanks bye